another day you know my split now so of course we got to wear black and use pre-workout some bucked up and um, head on our way today's a quad dominant leg day and we'll do some calves as well I didn't record the calves so per usual just getting ready for the day and then um, uh, heading out over to the gym So this is to warm up the hip abduction. Uh, this is going to be for squats. Uh, we're going to be doing sorry leg press and half squats. So this is just to warm it up. You can do one two sets. Just get blood flow within the legs. The first order of business, of course, is I do have I do have uh, someone with me, uh, Dr. Toby uh, Larson, and he's a performance coach. And so I'm kind of taking him through the ropes of leg day. So we first have the uh, leg press, and this leg press here is one with a lot of back support. So find one with a lot of good back support. And in this clip here, I'm explaining to Toby um, how your, whichever way your f uh, feet are pointing, your knees will follow. So if you have some bad knees, um, keep that in mind. You might want to point them out so you don't have any kind of weird knee flexion. Uh, we're doing quad dominant, so the closer your legs are together, um, the more quad dominant it'll be for the most part. Uh, obviously, for leg press, I'm going pretty deep, so you're gonna activate some glute, some ham to push it off. Uh, but because of where uh, how my quads are, they get quite the pump. Um, and this is, as you can see, kind of a nice rhythm, um, up and down, nice and slow. Nothing super hyper, you know, locking out or coming down too too fast. You don't want to risk injury, especially as you stack on weights. And as usual, we actually built up to um, our top set. We did two top sets that took about like six sets. And then we did a single leg version of this, which I don't think, nope, I did not record. So uh, we did one leg at a time to finish for our drop set. And that was our first exercise on the leg press uh, ling, seated leg press machine. Then we have the hack squats. The hack squats, um, you have here, I'm kind of explaining a similar thing. The, the farther down you are on the pad on this hack squat, the more quad dominant it will be. I'm just trying to explain how those levers, you have to like push them out and then lift up. Uh, so they're off the um, safety pad. And then I make sure to go all the way down. A lot of guys will stop a little bit before, but this one's a killer because once you're in that hole, they call it the hole, it, you're dead, you know, essentially. Like it, you do not want to bounce back up. You don't want to go. So I stop the momentum once I'm down there, and then I go up. And I do one, I think that's not all the way down, potentially, or not slow. See, I should stop a little and then go back up. And in fact, I could actually probably stay down there in the hole a little bit longer if I wanted to make it even harder. Um, but this is a, a great uh, movement, a great machine, and similar thing, we did uh, four sets, or three to four sets on this one each. And then we went to uh, leg extension and quad. And I'm, I'm trying to explain here, I have uh, flex toes and I'm trying to not just, um, you know, bend with my knees, uh, uh, my teardrops. You can lean forward on this one as well, but I'm actually trying to flex with the upper part of my leg. So if you feel at the top near your hip, you can feel all the muscles there on the lateral head, the medialis head, all connecting there to your hip and you can feel them flexing. So you should be activating them. So that's what I'm trying to show there. And then I did some calves, showing the calf machines um, since uh, I didn't record either of them. So I did a standing leg uh, calves, uh, single leg, both legs, and then seated legs um, for the calves. And then per usual, I did cardio. Uh, but this time I did uh, 45 minutes of cardio, steady state, and walking at an incline, and got quite the burn on that one. And I, I walked a little bit more on uh, for leg day because it does help with DOMS. Uh, DOMS stands for delayed onset muscle soreness and typically it happens not necessarily the next day but two days afterwards you feel real sore so you after legs whether it's hamstring dominant or quad dominant um, you're gonna want to walk make sure you're walking and like I said make sure you have enough electrolytes and water and you know resting ad adequately and then for um, protein obviously in carbs to reload uh, you're going to want to have a, a protein meal and a carb source um, right after leg day 
try to stay away from the fats since that would slow down digestion. Um, just immediately after the lift, I just get high protein, high carb meal and then call that good. So that was my quad and calves uh, dominant leg day and hope you enjoyed. And now as always, have a good day.